All right, everyone, my name's Adam Ripples Vox. Welcome back to another OBS multi platform or OBS studio tutorial. And this video is going to be it's going to be a very complicated topic. So if you haven't watched the other OBS multi platform or OBS studio videos, please go do so before watching this video because you're going to have a lot of questions if you don't already know your way around live streaming and things like that. And even then, you're still going to want external live streaming experience, most likely, to get the most out of this. But this is a tutorial of a really, really cool feature in OBS Multiplatform, and something I still wanted to highlight that you can do. So in this video, we're covering the ability to record and stream to different video formats. And the reason you would want to do this is, say, you want to, you know, you can only stream so high quality. Most streaming, you know, most people streaming stream in pretty low quality 720p. It's still watchable for a live stream, but then when you re-upload it to YouTube, it doesn't look so good because it's already super compressed and it doesn't make for very good video quality. Well, something you can do in Wirecast and professional grade video streaming recording software is you can live stream, you know, kick out a live stream of a low quality compressed copy, but then record a very high quality local copy. You've never been able to do this in OBS until now. And with this new version of OBS, they've actually added it in here and it's really flipping sweet. So we're going to set that up today with a new profile. So I'm going to go to profile new and I'm going to call this Twitch and local. Actually, I'm going to duplicate my Twitch profile to do so. So I'm going to go to my Twitch profile. I'm going to go to duplicate. And I'm going to call this Twitch and local. And so we're going to start out with our normal Twitch setup. So streaming is going to Twitch with our server and our stream key, but then output, we're going to change output mode to advanced. And this is where things get crazy, but it's going to be pretty awesome. So not only can you stream two different qualities, you can also stream one copy and then save the different audio tracks in the other copy, which we covered in a previous video as well. So that's going to get really, really sick and really, really cool. So here we go. We have output mode advanced. So for our streaming settings, we're going to tell it to do audio track one because in our audio settings, which I'll have to back out of here for a second and go to our mixer, we have all of our inputs, our desktop audio, our second desktop audio, and our microphone all going to track one. And then we balance that in our mixer. But then they're going to their own individual tracks in track two, three, and four. Now that's set up right. So we have audio track one being all of the audio and that's going to be our streaming copy of the audio track then track two is only going to be desktop audio track three is only going to be desktop audio four track four is only going to be microphone that way the live stream hears everything and then we can mess around with it in the final recording if we want to polish it up which i always want to do for like local game recordings and things like that and it works really well if you want to make highlight videos of your live streams or even just make a higher quality copy or say you're doing a podcast and you only want to podcast through OBS, this allows you to create a really balanced podcast, still live stream it, but then still polish it up for the final actual podcast upload. So we're going to go back into our video settings here, or output settings. So we're going to put it on advanced. Now the live stream, like I said, everything's going to audio track one. So we're going to do audio track one. We're going to leave this stuff about the same, but we're going to rescale it down to 720p because we're going to be streaming in a lower quality 720p copy, but we want our local copy to be 1080p. So our stream is going to downscale to 720p. Our stream is going to use a bitrate based on our upload speed. I determined that in a previous video. Mine's going to be 2500. And then keyframe interval for Twitch, you're going to want to use two. For, for Twitch and Hitbox, you want to use a two second keyframe interval. For YouTube gaming, you're going to want to use a four second keyframe interval. So for everything except YouTube gaming, pretty much use a two. For YouTube gaming, use four. It just makes it happier. For CPU usage preset, you can either do very fast or super fast, depending on your computer. Don't go to anything else other than that. You don't really need to. All right, click apply. Automatically reconnect should be connected that way in case your internet connection drops out for a very short amount of time. It will reconnect and you won't lose your stream because Twitch does not like it when you go offline and then back online. Then you can mess with the how much delay there is in your retries and blah, blah, blah. Now let's click the recording tab. Now this is going to be our local copy that we're recording. So we're going to leave it on standard type. We're going to tell it where to record. So I'm going to navigate back to my OBS recording folder on my recording hard drive RAID array. We're going to tell it to record in MP4 format because that's the only one that supports the multiple audio tracks and it's the most flexible. We're going to tell it to record all four audio tracks and then encoder. 
We're going to tell it X264. You can either tell it to just record with the stream quality, but that would defeat the purpose of what we're doing. So we're going to tell it to do X264. We're going to leave it on 1080p and, you know, 1920 by 1080, but we're going to up our bitrate to, let's say, 12 megabytes per second. Actually, I'll do 15, mm, 846, just some random high number up there. Actually, for me, for my hard drive, I'm going to do 26598 because 26 megabit is something I can record and it's a lot higher quality. For most of you, stick to around 8 or 12. So for the sake of this tutorial, let's do 8196. So set your bitrate for 1080p to 8196. And then keyframe interval, you can still leave it on 2 or leave it on 0. Since I'm streaming at 2 just to make the process easier on the computer, I'm going to tell it to leave it at 2. Then I'm going to click apply again. Then I'm going to go over to audio. And I'm going to tell it to record the stream quality audio track 1 to be 128 kilobytes per second. Or 160. Because that's all you really need for a live stream is 160 kilobytes per second for audio. But for my local streams, which is going to be my desktop audio, my desktop audio 2, and my microphone, I'm going to tell it to do 320. Because for all of your local recordings, you want it to be as high quality as possible. And then you can even assign names here. So I'm going to call this stream mix. I'm going to call track 2 desktop. Track 3 desktop 2. And then track 4 mic. I'm going to hit apply. And all of our settings are saved. So then when we go live, it's actually going to stream in two different qualities. We're going to stream to 720p and we're at 30 frames per second. You can also kick it up to 60 frames per second. Um, you cannot record and stream to two different frame rates though, so keep that in mind. That is a limitation at the moment as far as I know. You cannot record and stream to two different frame rates, but that's okay. I mean, you're still going to get a better quality. So we're going to record, we're going to stream to 720p 60 at a decent, you know, streaming setup, but then we're going to go to recording and we're going to record a 1080p 60 high quality setup with multiple audio tracks that we can balance in our video editor later on. So that was a lot of information with a crazy setup all at once and it was, it gets pretty messy to set it up, but it is an extremely, just frankly amazing and super helpful tool within the new version of OBS. And if you want to set up separate streaming and recording profiles at the same time, I highly recommend you learn your way around this. Check out the OBS support forums and things like that in the description below if you need help with it or you're having issues, but I highly recommend you give it a try as you're going to get some really high quality recordings while still being able to live stream, and that's pretty freaking cool. If this video was helpful for you and you're interested in trying this out, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Check out our links in the description below to our own Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash and our other videos and other channels. We have a vlog channel and a gameplay channel, etc. This video is brought to you by TunnelBear. TunnelBear is an extremely fast and cheap, or even free, way to protect and hide your data and IP address from unwanted spying. By hiding it behind a bear. TunnelBear also zaps away tracking cookies and allows you to tunnel through other countries to avoid censorship. It's fast, affordable, and even has a free option. Click the link in the description below to try it out for free today. This video is also brought to you by our contributors to our Patreon campaign. Our patrons contribute to our work via a small monthly contribution to help us build bigger and better projects, content, and collaborations, and they receive early access to our videos across all of our channels. Check the description or YouTube card now to check it out. And otherwise, guys, I'll catch you in a future video. My name's been Adam Rapels Vox. Thank you so much for watching. You've just watched another epic tech video from me, Epos Vox. Consider crushing that like button and subscribing to the channel. That way you never miss an upload. Also, check the links in the description to follow me on Twitter and Facebook and hit up our Patreon campaign for early access to videos. See you in the next epic tech video.